Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to explain how to uh, set up multiple websites using uh, on an Apache server and uh, contrary to what you may think um, you do not have to reinstall Apache actually it's much much simpler than that uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get started I'm going to use, uh, I've used an exam uh, to uh, start my or install my Apache and so that way I have my SQL uh, support and PHP as well but to get started what we're going to do we're going to uh, first go and create a uh, second web folder so I'm going to go to where XAMPP is and then we have htdocs now this is where the uh, first website's at and we want to actually set up a second website so we're going to create another folder we're going to create a new folder called htdocs2 alright and then inside this folder we're, this is going to be where our second website's at so what I'm going to do just to show you the uh, content I'm going to go to new text document I'm gonna call this index.html click yes and I'm gonna open this with notepad alright here we go do that and then I want to uh, I want to just say it works and then save and then just close this out and alright and then next we need to go to our Apache folder and we need to go to config and then we need to open this now if you're using a single website you will uh, this file here will be where the uh, first website is set at if you're wanting multiple websites you're actually going to have to go down and find a line called uh, okay look for this line here so it's include HTPD uh, vhost.config so that's not commented out so that's good so we can go ahead and close this file next we're going to go ahead and go to extra and then we're going to open our vhost uh, file up now you'll notice it has all kinds of good stuff in here already what I like to do, I like to actually use a pre-made example and what I'm going to do, I'm going to just take and delete all this and then I'm going to copy and paste using the uh, example that I have on my website and you can do the same thing to get started okay now that I've made a copy, I'm just going to take and paste that now all the work's done you don't have all that annoying text there in the way now the first one here we're setting up uh, for local host has to be able to access it on the local machine and you can see I've got it pointing toward I actually need to fix this this is for a different one this is on drive C okay and that will go to htdocs now these rules here uh, you can read my written tutorial and there's a link explaining what all this does I actually don't even know what they do I just know that it will save you a lot of time and headaches alright the next one you got this here now this is the most simplest form as long as you don't get a permissions error this one will work great and I'm going to change that to C and my first domain.com is going to go to htdocs and that one's set so the next one is going to be my second domain now my second domain is going to go to htdocs2 which that was the second one we set alright and I went ahead and I'm going to go ahead and show you the third one the third one is really neat you can set, I actually did this uh, on a completely different drive in the written tutorial now what I'm going to do, I'm going to minimize this and we're going to go to my computer and then we're going to open up drive E and then I'm going to create a new folder here and we'll just call it 
website 3 and then inside website 3 I'm going to create a new text document and we're going to create another index.html and then we're going to edit with notepad again and this one I want to say it works three and then close this out alright so now we've got that and we need to make sure we define that in this right here my third website will be e Website three find that on the oop on the E. Alright, and then that is for website three. So now what we do now that we've got all these uh, values set correctly, we're gonna file and we'll save it. And then we're gonna take and minimize this. And now what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead, now if you already have Apache running, you will need re to uh, restart it. I haven't started mine yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do so now. Alright, now we got it running. So next I'm going to open my browser. And I'm going to type localhost. Okay. And this is going to go to the first website. Alright. The next one I'm going to go to is my first domain.com. And as you can see, this takes you to that same folder as well. It's going to be the same as localhost because they're both defined the same way. Now, this next one I'm going to go my second domain.com. All right. And that was the uh, index.ph, I mean index.html file that we created in htdocs too. All right, and then the last one we're going to check and see is my third domain.com. And there we go. And that is how it works. Now, if you're wondering how I did the .com things, uh, look up a fake name uh, hosting article. I will uh, post a link under this uh, tutorial and that will explain how that works but yeah that's how you do it it's as easy as that